So, in this episode of Schematics, let's simulate a problem. Now let's create a solution. So, up until today, mankind's really only had a couple solutions for this problem. One of them is to bend down and pick up all those screws by hand like some cave-dwelling Neanderthal. The other solution is to purchase an ex extendable magnetic pickup tool like I've got here. And it's all fine and dandy, it eliminates the problem of bending down and picking it up by hand. But you can only grab a few at a time, and it's not really fun, it's, it's too close to manual labour for my liking. So, what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to throw that away because that's useless clearly. And we're going to build our own electromagnetic pickup tool. So, let's have a closer look at the components we're going to need. So, as you can see, I do have a couple 3D printed components here. If you want to print them out yourself, there will be links for that down in the video's description below. Now, what if you don't have a 3D printer? Well, you have two options. One, you can use a piece of dowel, a wooden dowel, to substitute this part, which mounts our electromagnetic. And you could substitute this with a hobby box from your local electronics supplier and modify it accordingly. But you do have a second option, and that's to use Thingiverse's 3D print supplier tool on their website to find a local 3D printer supplier that can print you the component and send it in the mail to you at a reasonable cost. We have a momentary switch. This is a 12 millimeter mounting hole, an M4 by 16 cap screw, a plastic screw. Uh, it's made of metal, but it's designed screw into plastic, so don't get confused on that one. It measures two millimeters in diameter by five millimeters long. We have our electromagnet. This was nine volts and it picks up a maximum of five kilos. 9 volt battery and battery clip, some epoxy, uh, some speaker wire, only light gauge, you only need to run a maximum of half an amp, so if your wires rated for 1 amp or more should be fine, and a length of PVC pipe. This one is just over 21 millimetres in diameter, and you can make it as long or short as you want. I'm making mine 700 millimetres long. Now you will need a soldering iron, preferably wire strippers would be handy and uh, some heat shrink would be good too nothing too crazy though so let's move into construction so what I've done is I've gone ahead and mixed up a little bit of epoxy here now I'm going to apply a small amount on the top of the electromagnet here and we're going to thread in our cap screw into our 3d printed mount or if you're not using 3d printed components substitute this for a bit of wood dowel all right i'm also going to apply a very small amount of epoxy to the cap screw just because i don't want this ever coming undone and i'm going to thread that into the top of the electromagnet and then apply a small amount of epoxy around the mount, put that aside, and then on the large end of the PVC I'm going to press that 3D mount in until it's snug against the magnet and I'm going to let that harden for five minutes. So now I'm going to extend the wires from the electromagnet and I've already put my heat shrink on the wire before I'm soldering it. Now I've just drilled a 4mm hole just above the electromagnet and now I'm just going to feed the wire through the PVC pipe. Now I'm just going to protect that wire by wrapping the uh, pipe with some electrical insulation tape. Now we're going to take our uh, handle and we're going to feed our 
wires from the battery clip through the hole in our battery enclosure and we're going to feed the wires up through the switch mount and a pair of needle nose pliers would be pretty handy. One wire is cooperated and one sure isn't. There we go. So we've got those wires through and we'll also want to feed the wires from the electromagnetic through the same hole. Just going to trim those wires and strip the insulation. Alright, so I've got the wires tinned. I'm just going to put on a couple pieces of heat shrink. Now, I should say that the polarity on the electromagnetic does not matter. You cannot get it around the wrong way. It's not polarity sensitive. And we're going to solder the positive input from the battery. So one terminal on the switch. And then the other terminal on the switch to one of the wires from our electromagnet. Take another piece of heat shrink and we're just going to connect the negative from the battery to the last wire from our electromagnet. Alright, so now we can feed all the wiring back into the housing. And before we push our switch on, I'm going to mix up a bit of epoxy and we're going to epoxy that switch into the enclosure. So then you're going to put a drop of epoxy on the threads of the switch here. You don't need too much because it's designed to be a pretty snug fit anyway. I'm going to push that down into the enclosure. And then while we're at it, we might as well add a dab of epoxy around the base of the handle where the handle mounts to the PVC pipe, I should say. And then we're going to slide on the handle like that. Just going to clean up that epoxy. And we're going to let that set for five minutes. All right, so now all our glue is set. We can install a fresh 9-volt battery in the enclosure. We're going to pop the enclosure cover on and install our screw which holds our cover down. And there we have it. Now it's designed uh, not to use by your thumb but for your index finger to activate the switch. It's more comfortable that way. So let's give this a whirl. So with our electromagnetic pickup tool completed we can now move from out under our rock into the tech cage and pick up metal objects like a boss. So look at that, everything's held on the end of the pickup tool, release the button, everything falls off. None of that useless you know, manual labour rubbish of pulling everything off the end of your regular magnetic pickup tool, just tech. So if you liked this video, please hit that like button, it would be appreciated. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, it's free. Other than that, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.